Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back. I hope you had a nice lunch. Maybe you're outside enjoying the sunshine. You can do this activity outside. Uh, it's a beautiful day there, so um, perfect day to do some arts and crafts, maybe in your backyard, balcony, wherever it's safe to do so. So I'm going to be showing you how to make our little T-Rex dinosaur finger puppet, okay? So you will have received in your emails this sheet, this PDF of our dinosaur layout, and it does have some instructions, but I'm going to show you how to do it uh, in real time. So you're going to need this sheet, some glue, a pair of scissors, and some coloring supplies, so your pencil crayons, your markers, whatever you have. I don't recommend paint. might get a little too wet and crinkly for you. So what you're going to do is we've got this puppet, like I showed you, and he's got a little opening in the back for your fingers to go in. So your fingers, just these pinchies, like if you're going to pinch somebody, you don't pinch somebody, and you can fit them in there and you have your little... T-Rex finger puppet. So what we're going to do is color first. Now, I'm going to have you guys color. Maybe you can color in your own time, but I do recommend coloring beforehand. So if you look here, if you want to zoom in, I will show you what I kind of mean. So I did color one beforehand to kind of save some time because you guys don't want to watch me color all day. So you'll see, I just, you can go outside the lines a little bit, which is fine because you're going to be cutting anyway. And you'll see here, there's a difference. I've got my finger puppet here. You can still see the white around the teeth. Okay. I wanted to try something different with this one and I colored it black, but I used a marker that I can still see see my folding lines through. You don't want to lose any of that so you can still see what you're doing. So this looks a little bit like a map right now actually, but we're going to turn it into a cool little T-Rex. So you can pause this if you need to, just to color, um, but uh, let's get started with the cutting. So you're going to color that first. I'll set that one aside and we're going to cut along the solid lines. So you'll see that there are some dotted lines we're just going to cut along the solid. So let's get started there. Now I'm going to give, I like giving my T-Rex those little grooves. You can cut a smooth kind of bubble around if you like. So then you get this little outline if you want. It's up to you. And take your time cutting it. And you'll see here, so I don't want to cut straight across here. I'm just cutting on the solid lines, okay? So just the solid lines. You don't want to cut anything that's got a dotted line. So I'm just going to cut that off so that it's like this, okay? Keeping this middle part, this black part here that I have intact. And you can color your dinosaur whatever you want. You can print out as many as you want. You can do a little puppet show. You can make a game out of it. You can play with your sibling or friend or parent, guardian, whatever. Make little a dino game out of it or see whose thumb war, you know, kind of do a thumb war, whose dinosaur is the strongest. And again, I don't want to cut straight through. I just want to cut around that dotted line.
And now if you know how to do this, maybe you can even find a way to make your own puppet if you want. You can kind of model it off of this one. And you can make, if maybe the T-Rex isn't your favorite dinosaur, you can figure out maybe how to do, you know, a Stegosaurus or a, um, doesn't even have to be a dinosaur. You can draw your own. So then you'll have something that looks like this. Now, you don't have to color in that part black. I just wanted to, like I said, because then I can see the teeth a little bit better. All right. So now I'm going to lay it flat, having the dinosaur's face sticking up. So I don't know if you can see, but you can see his eyes. This is his top part of his head. So I can see his eye here and down here. And then this is his bottom jaw. So I'm going to put it in front of me with his head facing up, like that part of the head facing up. Okay. And now I'm going to take my glue. Glue sticks are the best. You can use white school glue if you want. It'll just take a little bit to dry and you might have to hold it. So I've got this purple glue that should show up really easy for you on camera. So I'm just going to glue along here. So in it, there's a little picture for you in the PDF as well. So I'm going to glue along the side of his head. Just on the tip, because you don't, you, we need to have a space to put in our, um, our, uh, our fingers. So this is where the folding comes in. So you'll see, now I, like I said, I, I can still see the folds. So I want to fold along those dotted lines. I can fold, okay? And then on the other side, same thing. And now that part that I glued can reach the other side nice and snug so that you have something that looks like this. Okay, so it'll look like a little cone almost. So we fold it along those lines. So you can see it's like a black triangle under here. Now we're going to do the exact same. This time I'm going to fold first because it might be a little bit easier. So fold along those dotted lines. I'm going to do that on the other side. And then we're going to glue again, just on an outline, okay? Just on the edge. I don't want to glue along here because that's going to not give me anywhere to put my fingers. So going to glue along the edge again. that away. You don't want your glue sticks to ever dry out. And then fold that up. And like I said, if you use white glue, like that school liquid glue, you might just have to hold it together for a few minutes. And now we'll just close that up. So you can see I can just kind of put, instead of folding it, I can fold it like this and then put my fingers in here and then just pinch it. And that'll close it all up for you. And there you have it. You have your dino. So I like the, the look of the black. Oh, you can see his teeth a little bit better. But you can kind of have this little interaction here. Or maybe you can make music out of it. You can make as many as you like. And there you have it. There is how to make your own little dino puppet. Like I said, the instructions are there along the side if you need them. Or you can watch this video and pause as you go along. So that's it for our simple dino craft. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to join us tomorrow uh, with uh, Richard Burroughs. Uh, he's going to do a sound activity. He's the percussionist with open ears. So you can check out our website for more details on that. Don't forget also that all through spring break next week, we have special guests at 11, and you can check out our calendar on our website for all of those links. Thank you so much and have an awesome day and stay safe. I couldn't remember when the Richard Burroughs thing was, so I just said check out our website. All done?